Hello fellow Clashers, it is Kairos time once again. Today we're going to be doing another episode of this Let's Play series. Um, we're going to be playing in Spell Valley. I'm not sure if maybe we'll be able to push up, clear up to Builder's Workshop. Now that I'm in Spell Valley, the matches have been becoming a little bit more difficult. Um, as you can see right here, I'm still winning um, a lot with my uh, deck right here. Um, with all these epics and stuff, but uh, it's it's not easy. <laughs> it's definitely not easy. Um, we'll go ahead and let's get some minions and the mini P.E.K.K.A. Epic, definitely not going to buy it. Not that I even have the gold. I do not have anywhere near the gold because I bought this giant skeleton for this deck. Um, let's go ahead and open up all these chests. Ooh, the Inferno Tower. That could be good. The Tesla was unlocked. Uh, let's go ahead and get this free chest. And the wizard. A wizard could be a good card to be using a little bit later. Wizard's a good one. And the lightning. <laughs> Guys, I uh, this is crazy. Uh, my deck, I have been so blessed with le with uh, <laughs> epic cards. Um, my new cards, you guys didn't see this, but I got the poison in a free chest last night. And just today, I got the lightning in a free chest. It's absolutely ridiculous. This is a totally free-to-play account, guys. Uh, just so you know, I hope I'm not making you too jealous with how many epics I've gotten. Not sure why it is, but anyways, let's go ahead and jump into... Oh, let's open this here. And far more Barbarian Huts. Let's go ahead and fill up our crown chest today, guys. Um, now, just so... Let's see, we're facing against Roger. We love Waklaw. All of this is live, guys. I'm recording live. You're going to see both my wins and my losses. We'll go ahead and use the Skeleton Army to try and stop that uh, Prince right there. He's not going to use arrows or anything like that. Baby Dragon to get rid of this Minion Horde and he used the zap for whatever reason and okay so now we're ready to play a little bit more defensively we'll place this tombstone and then the giant skeleton in the back behind the king's tower place that right there wait for some sort of a push that i'm sure he's going to be making here with the barbarians now the bomber is a great card to play against the barbarians because of how strong its splash damage really is this guy's just kind of like going all at it i'm not sure what his strategy is i probably since he put that furnace there i probably should have gone the other lane but this will be okay we're um we're gonna be able to do just fine here took out my <laughs> okay let's see place the witch right here to try and get rid of some of those skeletons and then once our giant skeleton takes out this art or this with witch, we'll go ahead and place this goblin barrel right there as a surprise attack. And this just might get us the tower. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see here that giant bomb. Yes, we got it. This push is so strong, and this deck does really well, um, especially because it's well, and interestingly enough, because it's uh, all skeletons. We'll wait for him to zap these. I'm sure he's going to zap them. Um, and Bomber and these little skeletons right here. Little skeletons are useful. They're not super strong, but they do have their uses. And they're going to take care of this uh, Hog Rider right here, so I won't even have to worry about defending that. One thing that you guys uh, maybe newer in, in the game um, is to make sure that you aren't uh, attacking when you have... Like, Hog Rider is a really great card but it's really hard to get a hog push to the tower if they already have defensive troops there. I'm not even gonna worry about that witch right there. I'm gonna go for this, oh, now I have to worry. We'll place that goblin barrel, that um, baby dragon should be able to take care of those minions. We're most likely going to get this tower. He used the zap, so I'm okay using this uh, skeleton army right here. We'll get that tower. We'll go for a double giant skeleton push with some more support right there and go for this three crown so we can try and fill up our our uh, crown chest. Good game, well played. He got a tower so we gave him some crowns for his crown chest too. <laughs> That's always fun. Um, one of my favorite things to do in this game is when I know that I'm going to win without like a shadow of a doubt is just give people some chests uh, or some crowns because it can be quite a grind in this game to try and fill up your crown, um, crown chest. So. Let's see here. We'll go with what we did last time, a defensive tombstone. We don't we can't met or we we just cannot afford any damage to our tower. And so defensive tombstone is always a good option. We do have the inferno tower in now. Um well at least it is in it's available in this arena. And so we do have to worry about people placing down inferno towers for our giant skeleton. 
And, you know, let's go ahead and use the bomber and the goblin barrel. That was almost perfect prediction. Um, with that witch right there locked onto that giant skeleton, we're going to be able to get some damage onto the tower. He has... Oh, that was misplayed. Um, he has the goblin barrel as well, so this will be interesting. I'd be surprised if he had this same deck, but you never know. But he's got the furnace, which is uh, interesting. Um, place this baby dragon right here. We can't afford those spear goblins to do too much damage to our baby drag or to our tower. Okay, he is very clearly in the lead. I'm gonna have to go down the other lane because of that furnace, or maybe I won't actually, because this giant skeleton costs six elixir. That wizard costs five. This is gonna be a positive elixir trade. No, it's not. Okay, that giant skeleton is not anywhere close to that wizard so that was just not even good but oh sweet it got it we're still gonna take that tower down or lose that tower because our tower does nothing to these um these furnaces or the those fire spirits man that is just so much damage right here he's gonna try and go for a three crown himself and he might get it because my tower is so weak we'll place this uh, tombstone right here um, that was actually pretty, pretty good tombstone. We'll go with that goblin barrel, and I don't know if he's going to have any issues. Let's see here. We'll place this bomber right here. Maybe we'll be able to take down that tower, but he might take down ours because of his hog rider and because my stuff does so little damage. But are we going to make that? Are we going to win? with that push it looks like we are that was so crazy i can't even believe that uh so close that's kind of what happens a lot when you're playing in these lower arenas is that you think that you've lost but you very well could win up in higher arenas people are a lot better at defending and so that doesn't happen as often okay facing against question mark question mark secret question mark question mark should be good as always, defensive tombstone right at the beginning. The tombstone is probably the only um, building card that I would play prematurely defensively like that. Okay, this will be um, interesting. Decides to rock it. He might be doing some sort of like a, a spell cycle deck or something. Um, but we've got our bomber right here. We'll go ahead and support with the baby dragon and try and get enough elixir right here for our goblin barrel. And, you know, maybe that won't quite work out. But we'll get rid of that witch with that bomb. And uh, we've got some tower damage on there. And that baby dragon got one hit. Let's see here. Maybe we'll go... Yeah, we'll go with the tombstone again. Do a little bit defensively. He does have that rocket. And it looks like for whatever reason he's deciding to rocket stuff. We'll place this tombstone defensively against that Valkyrie. And I don't want to place the witch too close to this tower because of that rocket. Except that now he's placed that, so we're completely set. The rocket looks like about 400 damage right now at this level. Sorry guys, I'm drinking some soda, so I get a little gassy. <laughs> Let's see here. We'll place this giant skeleton right here. And place these skeletons just to cycle back to the goblin barrel. And that took out that mini P.E.K.K.A. really fast. This could be the tower, especially if that giant skeleton gets the tower. Let's see here. Maybe it won't. And that's the tower right there. Oh, so close. Okay, there we go. We got it. <laughs> I forget how little damage that level 1 witch does. Um, we're going to place this tombstone defensively right here. Other buildings, like I said, guys, I wouldn't place prematurely like that, except for like furnaces and things like that. But... Right now, the tombstone is probably our best bet. It's a good defensive option prematurely because it constantly spawns those little skeletons and you can't really ignore it. And then once you even get rid of that, let's see here, bomber right there and goblin barrel right there. Get rid of that Valkyrie and then hopefully do some damage to that tower and get that giant skeleton to the tower. And that's another tower. We'll go ahead and go for a swarm. Um, especially because he just recently played those, uh, oh man, that swarm got taken out so quickly by that Valkyrie. He already played those arrows. He's probably cycled back to them now. He'll probably about play it right now. So we'll place these skeletons. And that is good game. Good game. Well played, Mr. Secret.
from E Anglo. Okay, so that's three wins in a row, and we're up just one crown away from finishing this off here. We'll keep on uh, pushing here. Koa, no clan, give me the thumbs up. Thank you so much. Good luck. And man, we are just given the best cycle every single one of these matches. We'll start out with this tombstone just right here. Guys, if you want to try this deck in higher arenas, you definitely can. It's a strong deck. Um, I'm not just using it because it's all epics. It's a strong deck. Okay, this is not good. And let's get rid of... Now my towers, however, have almost no health, and so it can be a little tricky here. Um, but that's okay. We'll place this Golem Barrel, um, especially because he committed a lot to that last push. And we might be able to do a lot of damage. Is he going to be able to stop that? No, he is not. Took advantage of the fact that he spent so much elixir on that push. Um, now he placed the wizard, otherwise I might have thought about placing like the skeleton army, but that's not going to happen. Now I don't know what he's going to do. He's most likely going to take this tower, guys. Um, we'll do our best, but that's most likely going to happen, so I'm thinking we might... No, that's not even... Decided to fireball that. Not a positive elixir trade. Now, we're going to let this tower take down that Valkyrie because of how much health our tower, our King's Tower does have quite a big chunk of health. And so I feel fine doing that. Um, let, ooh, that was not good. That baby dragon retargeted that. I want to wait for the King's Tower to get to the point where it's about to lock onto it. There we go. Let's use this bomber right here and defend against this witch and take this other tower. And we'll go ahead and skeleton army right there. Oh, shoot, that happened last match, too. We placed that Valkyrie to take care of my Witch. I was going for a three-crown prematurely. Now, he's in good range of being able to take out my King's Tower, so we've got to be a little bit careful about how we handle that. Um, we'll place these Skeletons right here just as a little short, small distra distraction. Um, and he also has the Giant Skeleton. Place the Giant Skeleton right here so that it does not um, get killed by the Death Bomb. And we'll do that right here as well. In fact, it looks like they're both going to be taken out by a death bomb. And actually, he's probably still within reach of that. So we'll place the witch right here to try and defend against this side so that we do not get taken off guard. Um, and we'll go with a sneak attack right there. Because he just played the Valkyrie. We'll place this tombstone right here. He had that fireball, which was excellent. We're going to do a giant skeleton right there to just stop that entire push. And then it should get rid of that witch. Oh, and it also got rid of that. Let's let's do this. I'll place those skeletons right there. Oh, and I won. <laughs> I was so confused, I forgot that I had taken down two towers. Okay, we were good. I just needed to defend, but that worked out well. Giant Skeleton is such a defensive card, um, so that's why he's so good. And let's go and open up this crown chest. 333 gold. We got the Zap unlocked, and Zap is a good card, especially with Skeleton Army out there. In fact, I might use that. Um, place the Zap instead of the Bomber. I like the Bomber, but he does... And he's really good against the barbarians but and he's also defensive let's see here but he doesn't help against air and zap would be nice to have against both spear goblins and regular goblins but skeleton army is a big problem for this deck especially with my giant skeleton so i'm going to try messing around with the zap we'll see how we like it um it should have enough um let's see it looks like it does 80 damage and these little guys Let's see, skeletons. Level 1 skeleton, or should be higher than level 1. Let's see here. 32. He's probably good. I think that it can still take care of the skeleton army, which would be excellent. That would be a great option for me right now. Um, let's go ahead and jump in there, see what we can do. Spell Valley, facing this Russian guy, Patriot Academy, with no Y at the end, probably because it only allows a certain number of characters. <laughs> um... We'll place this tombstone right here defensively, try and cycle back to the uh, giant skeleton. He will play probably the witch right here, maybe go for a little bit of a 
a skeleton push. He's going to fireball it. That's okay with me. That's okay with me because we have that witch right here. In fact, the witch is going to be able to take care of those minions. And then we can place this giant skeleton right in front of them, of her. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. We'll place the baby dragon so that she doesn't get taken out. Okay, now he does have that inferno tower. I'm going to do this goblin barrel because there's so much um, already going. Let's see here. And his zap does not take out my goblin barrel. I wonder what level zap he has. Because um, that gave me a tower. That's that's pretty good. We're just three crowning, guys. We're just going over three crowning most of our opponents today. He said, oops, he made some sort of a mistake. I don't know. It's, it's most likely because of that... Uh, um, the zap not being able to uh, get rid of those gob that goblin barrel. I had no idea that that was uh, even going to be a big advantage right here. Okay, we'll just place that giant skeleton right here. There's no way that Expo is going to be able to do anything with that giant skeleton right next to it because it's going to die and then explode and clear everything. I probably could have placed it right in front of it so that it would have also for sure taken care of the, the Valkyrie, but that's okay. Um, now we've got the witch right here. We'll go for a little witch, baby dragon, um, goblin barrel combination. Lots of splash damage and is a little bit more... We'll place the baby dragon. She, she's... I don't know if the baby dragon is a she or not, but we'll, we'll do that. And we'll place that right there. We'll zap. We'll go ahead and zap those barbarians. See if that will make our push successful. Um, looks like it didn't quite make it completely successful, but we're in the clear. We've got the witch right here. She's going to be able to defend against everything right there, which is... Oh, we'll take a hit from that and that as well. We'll place the giant skeleton right in front of it so we don't have any issues with that. And then when we are ready, we will go ahead and place that. Oh, shoot. That did... Uh, he placed that beforehand. Okay, that was pretty good. That was very excellent. He's going to place that okay no um we'll place these skeletons right there that giant skeleton bomb is going to take care of those barbarians and just to keep that expo from landing a hit one there we'll put that giant skeleton right there and that is good game very well played we'll go ahead and zap oh i guess we're there we go good game well played that's uh that's one way to defeat an expo guys <laughs> just place the giant skeleton right in front of it um, you know, I'm not going to watch you guys, make you guys watch all of these, so I'm going to pause this, and we'll go ahead and climb up higher until we're closer to Arena 7. You know, never mind. I've, I've been receiving some feedback that people want to see more matches, so we'll, uh, we'll keep playing. We'll keep watching these matches here. We'll keep climbing. Um, we're facing LaCrack01, which is cool. Um, if you guys ever want to be a part of my... Ooh, okay, this is not a good thing. You guys know that I've had problems with balloons because I don't have any anti-air, and that's a level 3 balloon. It's definitely going to get a hit, even with both of my um, really strong... Oh, shoot. Both both of my anti-air troops <laughs> are going to be able to do that. So next time, I have to save that... Um, We'll place that skeleton army right there. Uh, get Take care of both those troops right there. We're going to have to have the tombstone to distract the balloon along with the witch and or the baby dragon in order to really make that successful. So that'll be interesting. We'll go ahead and lock on right there. Zap that. And are we good? Are we good? Is this going to make it to the tower? It's going to make it to the tower, and that is our first tower. Such a strong combination, very difficult to stop. If you guys don't have the giant skeleton, see, look, and now he tried to defend with that wizard, and the wizard is taken out. It's such a good combination in cards, especially in these lower arenas. One of my favorite decks is the one that I called the... Okay, okay, here we go. Let's pull that balloon, maybe close enough to that witch so that the witch will target onto it. No. Nope. That was not enough, guys. Not enough. He's going to get that tower, which is just... There's nothing that I can do against that. So that means that I'm just going to have to win by by uh, overpowering him, um, which I was able to do that one time, or just recently. He just played the balloon, so it's not in his cycle. 
He's going to go with another push right here. He's going to drop that balloon, try and cycle back. We'll be ready with our skeleton army if he drops that mini P.E.K.K.A. again. Um, in fact, if he's not, we'll even just do this. Oh, no, that looks not. Oh, shoot. Wrong, wrong thing. Uh, okay. Baby dragon, come on, go get that giant skeleton right there. And the P.E.K.K.A. Right there, the P.E.K.K.A. <laughs> Okay, are we going to be able to take out this P.E.K.K.A.? One explosion. Is that going to reach the tower? I don't believe so. Nope. Okay, we'll place this uh, witch right here. He's going to be ready with the balloon right now. We'll wait for that wizard to lock onto there. Normally, I wouldn't wait like that, um, but we needed to in that situation. Try and stop this balloon from making it there. We'll zap that. Okay, good. We're good. Um, now, we need this giant skeleton right there place the giant skeleton right there he already played his um, skeleton army so that should not be a problem and that wizard is gonna take care of that nope okay that means we're gonna have to defend against another balloon push here he's gonna place that balloon here pretty soon Ooh, good okay he's got that he's already played the wizard so he can't counter my skeleton army we will take care of his P.E.K.K.A. right now the witch is going to help take care of his own skeleton army. We'll place the giant skeleton right here. Cycle back to our goblin barrel right there. Be ready for the zap to get rid of both of those. And come on, come on, come on. So close. Come on. Get one hit. We're good. Woo! That was an intense game, guys. That was surprisingly... Um, that was all really, really close. Um... But that was good. We were able to cycle back through there. Let's keep pushing. Facing against Silence Top. Good luck. If you guys ever want to be a part of my clan, then check out the link in the description below. There's an application to the Kairos Kingdom clans. We've got just a fantastic group of people, guys. We, we really do. We're working hard to try and build a network of the best clans in the game. And by the best, I'm not talking about the highest trophies, although we, are, we do have a trophy-pushing clan. I'm talking about... Um, like attitude and like positivity and activity and making a clan uh, full of people that is just so amazing that no nope. um, so amazing that every, every member just loves it and really it has been so fantastic I've loved every second of it um, we're gonna go with the giant skeleton down the opposite lane that baby dragon I placed down there to try and defend against these these swarms right here slow splash damage troops is the way to go guys Ooh, let's see here. Against these uh, spawn huts. Okay, we'll place this, and he doesn't. Our our bar, our goblin barrel is really where all of our uh, attention, like well, that's our main win condition. So that giant skeleton being distracted by all of those, that's not that big of a problem. Um, it is a problem. We want to try and get the giant skeleton to the tower, but the the more important thing is just protecting our. Um, goblin barrel so that yeah you guys get where i'm coming from okay baby dragon right here gonna try and take out that massive swarm of troops right there you can see how easy it is to defend against these pushes if you have just slow splash damage troops um and that allows us Ooh, that was good he's gonna place that right there and okay this is a little bit more difficult we'll place this tombstone right here Ah, uh, we gotta use the zap. Okay, I'm talking about how easy it is to do this, and then he's, like, winning. <laughs> um, but you do have to have those... Um... Uh, okay, okay. Those slow splash damaging troops. We've got about 40 seconds, guys. He just played... That tombstone just got taken out. And we'll place this witch right here. We've got the zap ready for... The skeleton army right there and now we'll place this goblin barrel right there I don't think that we're going to win this but you guys can see how to do that if my tower had been stronger ooh hey there we go we got that tower guys we're golden um, if my towers health had been stronger this definitely would be a much easier win we're gonna go ahead and just push forward um, I'd rather go for a draw right now where my troops are so much lower level than his are Especially my towers. The fact that my tower health is so much lower makes it really difficult for me to pull off a win in situations like this. So we'll go for 
Okay, he's got, got rid of both of those right there. We'll place these skeletons right there so we can get back to the witch. Um, we'll go for a draw. That's part of climbing. If you guys ever feel like you cannot win, it's best to just go for some sort of a draw. And I've got my giant skeleton right here ready to go for a draw. We'll place the baby dragon on top of it. We got our zap right here, which is not going to take them out, but it's going to prevent damage, which is good. And we got that giant skeleton, so anything, or that bomb, so anything that goes in, well, he didn't place anything down there, so looks like that's good game. We'll place the skeleton army, even though that's not the best decision, um, because of those fire spirits that are going to be right there. Place the baby dragon, and once again, we'll zap right there, get rid of those. That King Tower is going to take care of those. Hey, very good game, well played. He's using a strong tactic, guys. You can see how, how it is a strong tactic, but even if you just have slow-moving splash troops, it's not that big of a problem. Yes, I did have to pull out a draw, but I am also a level 1, and I can't afford as much tower damage as, say, another level 5 would be able to. So here we're facing against Haneki, Master 13. Let's see here. This is not the best starting position. You know what? We'll place these skeletons right in the back. And then we'll place the tombstone right there and see if that's going to fix it. Nope. Okay, so... Oh, you know what? That actually worked out really well. We'll place this uh, goblin barrel once. Ooh. Zap that, and Goblin Barrel. I'm really glad that I made the switch for the Zap, guys. Um, obviously, I have gotten a lot of damage on the tower because I had the Zap and not the Bomber. The Bomber is a great card, but doesn't react to the Skeleton Army as well as Zap does. So that level 1 Zap helps out with these Skeletons. Okay, this is the square to defend against the Three Musketeer, or the Musketeer. Um, I placed it a little too late, but if I hadn't, then that would have been able to uh, distract the Musketeer without getting any damage on um, my tower. There are two... I'll show you guys right here. This is where you want to place the Musketeer, or to defend against the Musketeer. The Wizard and the Bomber are one step closer. They have a four tile range, and so that's where you want to put that. In fact, maybe we'll just put this Baby Dragon right here. Oh, that worked out way well. Oh, let's see here. And the Goblin Barrel. That was excellent. Um, I placed that Zap probably a little too soon. I didn't know that he was going to place that Skeleton Army right there. But he did, and it ended up working out really well. I just figured my Baby Dragon was there to help against the, um, the Skeleton Army. So, worked out really well. We've got this uh, Prince that's going to be taken out by that bombing defense. One thing with really big beatdown pushes, guys, is that... Okay, see, we'll try this again the right time. Place it right there. Ah, oh, dang it, I missed. I did it too late again. Um, but you guys get the idea. Um, we'll place this, place this giant skeleton right there. And he will take out that Valkyrie with some help of his, with his friends. And we didn't even need to use Zap that time. We'll do... Some skeleton army right there in the middle so that he uses his arrows and my bar or goblin barrel is going to, be able to take out that damage and let's just keep going let's keep going and try and go for okay let's go for the three crown come on come on let's go there we go good game well played mr haneki master 13 um let's see Okay, guys, I'm getting close, getting close to Builder's Workshop. I'm going to end the video today right now because I've got to get going, but I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think the Zap or the Bomber was a good call? Um, I'm a little partial to the Zap right now, but uh, that was pretty good, guys. Did we have a single loss in our run today? You know, doesn't look like we... Oh, yeah, the Balloon Guy. Or wait, no, that was a long time ago. Nope, we've uh, we've had a win after win after win today. So, hey, that's great. Winning streak continues. <laughs> and uh, let me know. Once again, guys, if you're wanting to join uh, Kairos Kingdom, just fill out an application. It's an amazing group of people that we have right now. Super active. And uh, we will see you later. This is Kairos Time ticking by. And we'll see you in the arena.